Bloody woman. I would have if I could get a word in that choice. So I um, got an email from Perfect World basically explaining that their new game has come out on open beta. And I thought I'd have a go. Basically because I watched the trailer that they released and it was probably one of the worst trailers I'd ever seen. It was up there with the Killzone 2 one that everybody knew was fake. I thought to myself, it surely can't be that bad. Now I'm telling you now, just because I don't want you to switch off, it isn't that bad, it's actually quite good. There's a few things about it that work really well. There is the scanning feature that they have. Um, there are... Right, there you go, you can see it there. There's more about that later. There's the kiosks and the hard suits and, and the customizations. Excellent, isn't it? So, stick with it. It's actually really good. But it's actually, the people that made it, Zombie, have actually had a good pedigree when it comes to shooters. They did the America's Army, which was that free to play that everyone played. It was super realistic. They've done one of the Delta Forces, they've done Spec Ops. So when it comes to shooters, they're actually quite a long pedigree. And um, this is more of a futuristic setting. It's a sequel to Blacklight uh, Tango Down which I haven't played myself, so I could really couldn't give you a judgement on it. But, um, say at the moment I'm going through the tutorial, so I'm just shooting pretend Kerbal boxes. When I was watching the um, trailer on YouTube, they were, um, a lot of comments were saying, it, you know, it's crap compared to Call of Duty. What I say is, if you if you don't like it and you wanted to compare it to Call of Duty, play Call of Duty. Call of Duty is 40 quid, it will stay 40 quid until the next for Call of Duty comes out. This is free to play. This is funded by microtransactions. I said it in one. Fantastic. And um, it's f for free to play, it's an excellent game. Um, it's funded by you buying the weapons and the armor that you want to look good and the aspects they don't make you better they balance it out so if something's good that stops the recoil it may slow you down and things like that so it balances it out quite well and then when I came across this ki kiosk and bought a hard suit which she's going to spend 20 seconds talking about all I wanted to do was actually do it. I saw it had a small dogasm and that was it then I was hooked. Hey, look at the way it appears. This is ace. Look at that. Beautiful. And then all of a sudden, I'm in a mech warrior game. But this, this is only bought by combat points, and to get combat points you have to do well during the game. Once you get up to 13,000 combat points, you can buy yourself a hard suit. That's when you start to own, but you've got to prove that you can own before that. And you can take squads out with this. This is a bit of a beast. There are ways to take it down, and there are things you can get to help take it down. But all in all, this is the ultimate prize. And if you get this first, then you're swaying the game. So, like I say, it was published by Perfect World. They've done things like Star Trek, 
and Champions Online, so they've got the pedigree of the MMO and the free-to-play structure as well. They seem to be buying stuff and making it free-to-play and it becoming successful. So, this has a lot of... It's a lot of backing, and I can see it working quite well, and the support it's got already from people who have actually tried it. This is their problem. They need to get people to try it first before they they will get the people spending the money and a good thing about this is you don't have to spend the money you can spend time instead and you will get what's called game points and you use those game points I just got owned completely straight away then you can use the game points to buy or rent weapons and armor and abilities for one day for seven days for 30 days or you can buy in for per permanently. And um, I can see this model carrying on. It's been incredibly successful for two, three years now. So and I can see it carrying on. Oh, there we go. So at the moment we're playing uh, Team King of the Hill. There'll be a video later on showing um, more different modes. There's the Deathmatch one, there's Team Deathmatch, there's Domination. It's very much, you'll say, oh yeah, it's Call of Duty. That's fine, it's a free Call of Duty. You don't have to spend 40 quid on the game, you don't have to spend 8 quid on the tracking because that's built in. It's not in, in this beta at the moment, it's not in this build, but it will be in the future. But it's got all the aspects. You've got the melee, you've got your sprint, you've got your thing. But this is brilliant. See how it can actually show where people are. You don't have it for long. It makes tactical decisions as well. And if you're trapped, you know where they're coming from. You can make your escape or things like that. It just looks like you've spent 30 quid on it. Yes, it's all very grey and dark, but it's the setting that it's made and it's very blade runnery. And I like that. There's no lasers or anything like that. The kiosk, if you do well and you get your combat points, which is what I've got in there what 785 I'll just show again but you can get uh, flamethrowers you've got your hard suit which you might see at this point in a minute um, when you get to certain levels because there is a leveling system as well you can get a minigun you can even get deployable turrets so it's working on systems that have worked in the past as you can see up there yeah I've just got oh, there he is look at that what a beast so you can see how he's now swayed the game he's now appeared we're trying to sort of a way of taking him down This one, Team King of the Hill is quite simple if you've played King of the Hill before. Points appear at certain parts of the map and there's a rush between the two teams to try and take that point before the other team does. You then get a point and the person with, well, the team with the most points by the end of that wins. Or if they get to a certain point, I think it's five points, they win as well. No, oh, it's there again. There are a few balancing issues at this point. Uh, it is a beta. I'm sure they will balance it all out. That I have a, do have a quibble with the flamethrower and things like that. But um, all in all, I say I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a fun game to play. For free to play, it's excellent. 
and it's not one of those where you're going to be left behind if you don't spend 20 quid. You can put the time in, you can get some decent weapons if you play 4 or 5 games. You can put a scope on the weapon if you play 4 or 5 games. You can even uh, put an attachment onto your weapon that's a little devil head that makes you reload faster. And that's only if you get. Whoo, look at that. So, if you like customizing, if you like putting everything, like solving everything down to the littlest detail, you'll like it. It's free, so you'll like it. The tactical wise, with the the scanning thing, I will remember what it's called. I can't remember at the moment. And then you've got your the tactical thing with the hard suits, you know. So there's a lot that you'll. I think it's an excellent game. And it looks good as well. But free to play, this looks really, really good. I've seen some free to play shooters at the time, and they look shocking. But this looks and plays really well. Oh yeah! I say you yeah, but I'm a terrible player when it comes to mouse and keyboard. You'll probably figure this out after a couple of videos. I, it's not a gamepad. I'm useless. I think there's points where I end up firing a whole clip at someone and I've made a perfect outline of them. Case in point. And um, weapon wise, you've got all the usual ones. You've got your normal combat rifle, you've got your single shot rifle, you've got a submachine gun, light machine gun, and they are what you call receivers. And then you can add muzzle, stock, clip, um, barrel. So you're actually making your own weapon. You can make it silenced. You can get a shotgun for your secondary weapon. These unlock after certain levels, or you can pay the money to unlock them early. You can't use them straight away when you unlock them. You, can, you know, you just unlock them and then you use the game points to spend on them. That was shocking. And he's just died. That wasn't my fault, mate. He, he, was, he, he just dodged out the way very quickly. He was like something out of the Matrix, mate. Sorry. And we lost. What a shock. So, yeah. This is uh, Blacklight Retribution. Like I say, it's free to play. It's an open beta. I will be doing some more videos on it. And showing the customization, showing the different types of game on it, and I um, hope you take the plunge and download it and have a go because, like I say, I'm impressed. It's a really nice game. And I'll uh, see you soon.